Kay says the seating area is right where the parking used to be. Outside the bar, decorated with haunting elixirs and potions of the past, is a ghost of the present. At Sundry and Vice, the only thing left of the streetery that was here are the impressions, more faint than full moon shadows. It don't happen oftenly, but it's a risk. All after this, a truck slammed into the streetery at about 10.30 last night. Fortunately, no one was there at the time, but this spot is no different than dozens of these outdoor dining areas around OTR and the rest of the city. They were started during COVID, but they've endured better than the virus. They're just a nice place to get outside and honestly a little bit extra space. It's never the worst thing in the world. The streeteries often occupy part of the roadway, parked in former parking spaces. People have been using them with few problems and the latest isn't changing minds. You could get hit walking down the street. You know, stuff happens all the time. People run into Kroger buildings. People run into you know, stuff that's been sitting there for 200 years. Dave Osterday yeah, visits the streeteries on a regular basis. Yeah, maybe there's some steps to be taken to call more attention and more awareness, make them a little safer, slow the traffic down, get people's attention. It comes just a few days after this. A vehicle skidded across the sidewalk and into the Alabama fish bar. No one was hit, but it highlights the troubles where traffic and people outside of their vehicles are in close quarters. I know the city's been pushing pretty hard for pedestrian and, and, and bicycle safety. Uh, so let's, you know, let's help support that and get behind it. And As the city looks for remedies to the problem, it'll be more effective than the potions of the past. Now, these are pretty substantial structures. They're basically, uh, they're solid. They're filled with the gravel and dirt, I'm told. Uh, and they can take a pretty good hit. In fact, if you saw that video, the truck was actually launched up on top, but a lot of this has to do with how fast that vehicle's traveling. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5. All right, Brian, let's talk about the vehicle that hit all of this stuff there. Do we know anything about the driver of that truck? Yeah, well, the driver, he hit the, those partitions there and then got out and took off on foot. He hasn't been seen since. Steven? All right, just leaving the truck behind. Hopefully police can find him soon. Brian Hamburg reporting live for us tonight. Brian, thank you so much.